take number two. That guy right there knocked over a chair inside and terrified himself. So I had to go take care of that. But um, I wanted to mention a couple of things. Um, uh, Turbo Cobra mentioned something about using those strong hand clamps when you're welding up um, different joints and how they really help avoid um, avoid warping. And I'm using that same kind of thing. I don't have this one bolted down. I just actually clamp it to the table when I'm using it. But this is a three axis clamp um, and it's great. It, uh, it's it's almost a necessity, I think, if you're going to be if you're going to be doing anything where you're doing a square frame and then adding legs. It just is it's really convenient to be able to um, clamp a vertical piece that you know is pretty close to. You know, I still check level, obviously, but it's really good for clamping a vertical piece to a 90 degree corner. But um, anyway, I've been having some trouble with warping on the one inch tube. It's all 11 gauge, but with the one inch, I've been having more trouble than with the 1.5. And what I've decided to try and do is get some of these, uh, like, one, two, three blocks, I guess they're called, or machine, machinist blocks. But um, they're one inch in this direction, two inches in this direction, and three inches across here. And they're all machined flat. But what I'm doing with them is, and I think this, is, this will show in the video, hopefully, but I'm basically clamping them underneath of a joint. So if this is a piece of pipe, and it's going to be going up to another vertical piece on this surface right here, you know, if this is the vertical surface and then this is the piece that you're clamping to. I'll take this and basically clamp it underneath the first weld. Um, basically as a big heat sink. Um, I've already, you know, at, at that point the piece has already been checked for, you know, is it level in this direction and is it level in this direction and is it the correct measurement down on the leg or whatever the case may be. But um, it's this is the first time I tried using it today. It seemed to help. Um, and I was able to, you know, I'm still kind of watching, making sure I wasn't heating something up too much. And I always try and tack on the corners versus in the center of the piece. Because that seems to also um, keep the fitment a little bit tighter. But I need to get at least another couple of clamps. Because I had, okay, I was able to clamp two of these at once. But it would have been nice if I had enough clamps to do all four. Um, the other thing I've been doing is just running these um, big clamps on the diagonal when I'm doing some of the finish welding or even um, just clamping them along one direction in between legs. So those things seem to help with the one inch tubing. Um, if you look at where these, I call these crossbars, they're basically going to be supports for a shelf on this, but um, they're not very far up the leg. It's four inches up from the bottom of the leg. So it's not as much of a concern in terms of getting that, getting a little bit of the warp in the leg, but on some stools that I make um, that are like 30 inches tall, the piece is much higher up the leg so it's you know it's almost a third of the way up the vertical surface so that's where I saw a couple of them where they warped it wasn't that big a deal I was able to kind of straighten it out but um, I think having those those machine blocks is basically a flat surface and a big heat sink might be helpful so anyway here's the um, here's the prototype of the nightstand that came together I pulled this drawer out of my kitchen actually because I am trying to decide if this, so this is not the right dimension drawer but I'm trying to figure out one how tall do I want the face of the drawer to be and do I want the trim on the front of the door to be metal or do I want it to be wood it's gonna have a um, it's gonna have a wood top on it that's an inch and a inch and three eighths thick um, and it's probably going to be made out of cherry, and it'll have a half-inch overhang on every side. But um, I'm just kind of looking at it and trying to figure out if I would like to have what I would like to have for the trim pieces. This this bottom section is going to be a shelf as well, and that'll probably be wood. But um, I've just been holding up different different materials, holding up pieces of metal, and holding up different pieces of wood just to try and get an idea of that. So. Uh, I just I haven't decided yet, so I'm just going to let it sit, and I'll probably come out later today and take a look at it and figure out what I want to do. But um, this is how the prototype of the nightstand is looking, and I think that's what I have for now. So thanks for watching.